Hey folks, I know it's been a while since I've did a video. Sorry, I'm a little dry. Um, I've been, been wanting to do this video for a bit. Um, magazine maintenance. Um, well, magazine. No, well, first off, let's clear this guy. There we go. We're clear. Magazine maintenance. Well, just dropped around. Hold off the table. Magazine maintenance. Yeah, I've said this three times now. How do you maintain a magazine? Um, there's really not much to it. Uh, there's only a few moving parts in these things. This is the most neglected part of your gun. So first thing you do, take the freedom seeds out. Um, I just cleaned this one the other day, but I'm going to go through it for you guys. I should have did the video when I was cleaning my firearm. And this happens to be a PMAG 12 rounder for the Glock uh, 26 clone I've got here. Um, your, your mileage may vary, but most magazines have some sort of button on the bottom. That's this guy right here, that little circle. Uh, that is to push in the spring so you can slide the base plate off. One way or another, this base plate comes off all magazines. So if you're not sure, um, grab, actually grab your owner's, owner's manual. The owner's manual will tell you how to do this if you're 100% not sure. I'll show you how to do a PMAG and most magazines are, are some variation of this. One of the disassembly, I know Glock makes a special disassembly tool, but for these PMAGs, a, a ultra fine Sharpie works amazing because it fits right on that button. You push, just push that button in and slide that base plate off. Now, keep your thumb over it and just inch it back like this. And there's your spring. And there's your guts. This is your locking plate for no better term. I, don't, I know there's a uh, uh, nomenclature for it. Your spring and your follower. This follower is always going to be the brightly colored part. And it goes at the top. That's the part you see at the very top of your magazine. And then you have tube. So, long story short, you can spray this down with the cleaner of your choice. I like Riptide. And let it soak. Set it aside, couple shots of cleaner inside, tube. and then what I like to do is you can take these good old blue towels. You all, if anybody that's been on my, watch my channel, what all knows, I love these things because they are useful for all kinds of stuff. Push it until you see it poke out the top and then just pull it through. And your magazine is essentially now clean. Um... I do this once every couple months, um, mainly because you'd be surprised how dirty these magazines get from just wear and tear from you carrying them every day. But if you shoot a lot, you should do it more often, at least once a month. Um, my comp, when I was shooting competitively for my comp mags, I did it a couple of times a month. Just, just ensures reliability of feeding. To reassemble, just push that back in, pull your thumb over the top again, and then get it started, and, and that's it. You can reload your magazine, you know, if it, by all intents and purposes, that, that should load fine. Um, if you have to... Really, if it feels like it's binding or if it feels a little off, take it back apart and make sure that something didn't get cocked or wonky or whatever in there. Anyway, at least once every couple of months, if you carry daily, both your one that's in your firearm and your backup mag, um, if you care, off body carry, there's, that's a thing. I, I mean, I even have to do it sometimes. Uh, or 
it's a gun that you just leave sit, you know, like on your bedside table, which I, you, know, you should have one there, um, at least once a year. Yeah, that's about it. They're all magazine maintenance. Again, your mileage may vary. Every magazine manufacturer is a little bit different. But what works for these P mags should work for Glock mags. Um, SIG is just a little tiny little button, a uh, little recess that you have to just push in with like a like a punch or a scribe or whatnot, and then slide. It's variation on the same thing. Only, th only time it gets, I mean, you can do this with your AR mags too. Uh, P mags for an AR are just a long slot that you push in and it's the same thing. You only get into the weeds when you have like the steel mags that have the bent over ears. You're just going to have to tweak the ears up a little bit and then slide the plate off. Um, and then just carefully tap those ears back down. Otherwise, yeah, that's 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 it in a nutshell. Um, I just you know it's a it's a often neglected part of your firearm. Um, they need love too. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's essentially it. Uh, I know I haven't been doing many videos lately. I'm sorry. Work's just up in me. Um, it's a lot lately. But uh, I'll try and get back on it. Uh, we're looking at potentially moving out to Arizona for more work. But uh, the schedule will be much nicer. And... Uh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but I will try and start doing more videos. I know I said that last time too, but work is just impossible right now. Uh, such is the life of working for an airline. Um, anyway, let's wrap this up. Uh, shout out to my partners, uh, USCCA. I don't know if you guys can see them back there. My big, my, my big poster fell down and tore, uh, USCCA. Um, <clears throat> they, I will put a link in the description text, uh, for a CCW guide, um, uh, that will be your portal to the USCCA. I highly, highly, highly encourage you guys to check them out. They have a, the benefits on their, our, uh, self-defense insurance is, is more than worth in price of admission. But on top of that, you get free training and training is what saves lives. Uh, so look for that link in the description text. Also, there'll be a link for Riptide Army uh, for their advanced gun cleaner and their advanced CLP. Uh, partners with the channel, there will be a link to their website and there will be a discount code right below it. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You got to look it up. Uh, there will be a link to my affiliate tactical ship. Um, Good folks, tactical shit, have all kinds of gun parts, uh, ammo, reasonable prices on ammo. Um, there's a couple walk-in stores. I think they have two, maybe three. Uh, one in Florida, and I think one or two in Missouri. Um, check them out. Uh, there'll be, I think it's a discount code for shipping, maybe. I don't remember. Uh, they changed it again, so I got I got to check that out. Um, also, there will be a link to Bucks Holsters, the official holster manufacturer of the channel. There's a QR code for those that are into that. Bucks Holsters, my friend Ross Boater at uh, Bucks, great guy. He makes all of my holsters. That's my daily carry. It's a little buck. Uh, there's a I did a couple reviews on Buck's stuff too, so uh, check out Ross. Um, if you don't see a color that you like that's listed on the website, give him a call. He probably can make it. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Oh, one thing I wanted to talk about. I stumbled onto this product the other day. 
uh, a couple weeks ago actually. Grinds at getgrinds.com. It's I'm a former smoker and I used to dip also. But these are ground coffee in little pouches. These happen to be the double mocha. I like these. Also, the New Orleans is pretty good as is the black coffee. There are multiple flavors. Um, you can actually name all the ingredients on it because uh, it's coffee. Um, 50 milligrams per pouch. This is stuff's amazing. Uh, they are not sponsoring me. I just think this is a cool product and I wanted to let you guys know about it. So anyway, check that out. I will put a link to that website. Uh, these are available on Amazon also. Um, anyway, we'll wrap this up. I want everybody to be safe. Keep your powder dry, folks, and stay tuned. I'm going to try and get some more videos out to you.